Hi everyone, I received a package recently from my good friend on YouTube known as LV. She sent me this package of stuff that I did nothing to deserve and I was not expecting at all. It wasn't like my birthday or anything like that. And thank you so much LV. I was so surprised and you really have spoiled me and yeah, um, she sent me a few different things, but I thought I would show you guys the J-pop related things that she sent me. So each of these albums has a little note on it, and I didn't want to detach them because I'm afraid of losing them, and I just want them to stay on there. So I'm sorry that they're kind of covering the album art a little bit, but um, if you really want to see the full album art, you can look it up easily on Google. So the first one in my package was Love Appears by Hamasaki Ayumi, and LV included this note explaining how much this album means to her and how how much she relates to it and how much it describes her personally. I have listened to this album but never really with that perspective of knowing my friend through this so I'm really looking forward to revisiting it and sort of getting to know LV more through IU's songs and lyrics on this album. And this is a two disc version. It appears that it is the album right there as well as a few remix songs on the second disc. The second one is Sakamoto Maya's 30 Minutes Night flight and I'm so excited for this. I really love Sakamoto Maya. Um, I've loved her for so long but I've never actually owned one of her albums. Um, I don't know why. If you guys have any other recommendations for me, let me know. Yeah, so this actually is a rather short album. It's seven tracks long. So this is actually a mini album and it comes with a slip case like this and this is the album I believe. Yeah, and it comes with this little passport journal where you can write your own thoughts and sketches maybe, which I thought was really, really cute. And then this disc it included is a DVD. It says it's an original short film. The third one is another one I was so surprised and pleased by. This is Perfect Crime by Mai Kodaki, another artist that I don't own any albums by and I've been meaning to get into her music for the past couple of years and I just never have taken the time to. So now LV has provided me with that. So thank you so much for this. Um, I don't think I've heard any of the songs off this album, so I'm really looking forward to listening to some brand new music and I'm sure I'll really like it. And lastly it was the mini album 5 by Hamasaki Ayumi and I was so thrilled to open this. I actually was looking for this while I was in Book Off in Japan and I couldn't find it so it seems like destiny that LV would mail it to me after I've come home. I actually really love this mini album so you can't call me an IU hater. This mini album was one of the things that brought my attention back to Hamasaki Ayumi me. I'll probably be reviewing this in the near future. She sent me a few other things but I thought this one thing was kind of relevant to my channel and I wanted to show you guys. She sent me this Sailor Moon crop top and I tried it on and it fits me perfectly. We've never met in person so I was so amazed by that and I've been looking for a really cute black crop top for a little while and I couldn't make up my mind and Again, it was like LV read my mind when she sent me this package, so thank you so much LV. I appreciate your friendship so much. I'm so happy. I've said it before that I made this channel to make new friends who have the same interest as me, and I definitely achieved that, and I'm just so happy to have you guys in my life. Yeah, if you guys don't know LV, I will leave a link to her channel below, of course, so make sure you go check it out and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini haul. Again, I <laughs> probably won't be able to buy J-pop for a long time, so I was super surprised and thrilled about this. Yeah, thank you again so much, LV. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. The themes in this album, which is like heartbreak and also falling in love, as well as musically, it will give you an idea of the style of the vast majority of the songs on this album. Track 2 is Shape of Love and it's somewhat similar to the first song as it is a very powerful R&B style ballad. It has a much stronger note of urgency, especially